talking Yo. about video games. They Yo. said it couldn't be done. Yo. Here we are. <laughs> Listen, is everything possible or not? I'm actually a gamer, y'all. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Uh, what's up? It is the stream. It, it, it is our Friday stream, but it is on Thursday this week because we have some very, very, very special company. Uh, thanks to this uh, presented by Alienware thing. Uh, we are going to be playing some video games with uh, an order of appearance from right to left on your screens. Anderson Pack. Hello. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Uh, we've got, oops, I got Domi and JD switched. Hang on, here we go. We've got Domi. Yo, yo. <laughs> and then over here, peeking up from underneath the thing. There we go. We got JD back. Hello. What up? Um, How's it going? So for all of the stupid people who don't know who the three of you are, <laughs> uh, oh, Anderson Pack is a four-time Grammy Award winning musician, multi-instrumentalist, uh, actor at sometimes i've, I've seen oh. the music videos uh yeah. sometimes director uh domi is a uh virtuosic yeah. keyboard player and uh jd beck is really 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 good at the drums is that all accurate somewhat i don't know somewhat yeah. but pretty much it's all there cool um <laughs> And yeah, so we're, we're going to play some video games, but first we wanted to chat and introduce people. Uh, so what, how did the three of you come together? How did it happen? It was like through the internet and mutual friends, right? Yeah, yeah, for mm -hmm. the most part. Instagram. We all hated each other. Yeah, J I met JD, he was like 12 years old wearing these little overalls, <laughs> and he was talking about, I play drums and stuff. I'm like, all right, kid, what do you want from me? All right, I'm not your, I'm not your dad. Like, I, I can't help you. And then he just kept following me and stuff. And then um, all of a sudden, like the free nationals were talking about him and and Thundercat, all these all my mutual friends are talking about him. And then um, I'm like, OK, I get it. J.D. Beck, J.D. Beck. And then and then uh, I think I just started seeing clips of them, you know, pop up on Insta. And then eventually uh, I had you guys play for like a couple of my parties over here. And then yeah. I, just, yep. I was just obsessed. <laughs> And um, you know, yeah, we just uh, we just been hanging out ever since. Nice, yeah. It's it's. I mean, it's it's hard not to be impressed because like, uh, this the stuff that you guys do is I don't know. As, as a person who like can sort of do a, a four by four drum beat and like strum four chords on a guitar, when I see you do what you do, it's crazy. How, how long have each of you been playing your instruments? Hey. Uh. Uh. Since I was like five, I think I started on yeah. keys though, piano, and then it was drums when I was like seven or eight. Sixty-nine years. Wow. <laughs> cool. No, no, I started with drums when I was two, and then uh, I switched to piano. So wait, so the two of you sw sw switched? Then you started on each other. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we did. That's cool. They swapped. And I'm better also... on keys though. She's better on drums too. And also, the three of us slept approximately two hours last night. Nice. Don't tell so him that. That's funny. <laughs> it's, 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 I, I like that you, you're, you're playing your, your weaker instruments. It's like in, in Dragon Ball Z when people fight in like the weighted power armor. Has everybody here watched Dragon Ball Z? Did anybody? Okay, I'm alone. Um, <laughs> I totally I'm know so what you're talking about, bro. I totally know what you're talking about. You do? No. Yes, I, I understand that. I was so that, excited for a second that we were going to talk about Dragon Ball Z for the next I, hour. But I am delirious. I have not slept, but it's cool because you know we we were practicing all night and yeah. and uh, going over this, man. Uh, so let, let's uh, let, let's talk really quickly about video games. We're going to be playing Valorant. We're going to be doing a weird three v three thing. It's going to be you against Team Team Polygon. Uh, and video games in general, what are the first video game that each one of you remembers playing? Wow. Probably Mario. Yeah. Um, Zelda. Pac-Man. What was the first video games? Like, what was it? Oh, Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt rules. Uh, it's fire. We'll see Mike if you Tyson, still have the... Mike Tyson Punch-Out. Was it Knockout or Punch-Out? Punch-Out. Definitely Punch-Out. Yeah, man. 
Shit. Mm -hmm. I think mine was Counter Strike. My older brother put me on to Counter Strike because he was okay. playing all the time. Oh, that was your first game? <laughs> yeah. I was I was Isn't ready that... for some to get hit with some heavy news you... like that. That like what one of like... y'all's first games was gonna be something that came out in like two thousand five. Yeah, that's wild. Didn't that just yeah. come out? Well, it's Source, hang on. It was it was it. Source it was one point six. Okay, so I mean, was there... Source wow. was out, but my brother played one like the original one, and so yeah. I like that tried. To... I didn't know what I was doing though. Yeah. Okay. So you've got a lot of muscle memory for this kind of game, and we've heard you've heard things Hopefully. about you, uh, and we're really scared. Um, I've been training for years. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was Domi's first video game? Oh, Battlefield. Battlefield. Battlefield, Battlefield super free. fun. God, yeah. that game's so good. And then Minecraft. <laughs> you know. Nice. Everyone. Yeah. We're all uh, Minecrafters. Um. Basically. Nice. So every team. They say every team has has the muscle, the brains, and a wild card. Uh, who, yep. Who's what for yours? So let me go ahead and tell you right now. Um, I would be the brains. Okay. JD's the muscle, and yeah. Domi's definitely the wild card. I'm actually gonna swap that. I would be probably the muscle, right? And and the, yeah, I'm probably. Now I'm gonna say I'm yeah the muscle. JD's the brains. <laughs> Domi's the wild, uh, <laughs> the wild turkey. All right, cool. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, let's. Uh, I'm going to kick you over to your comms station so you can talk to each other for this first match. I'm going to grab Team Polygon, say hello to them. Uh, but very excited. We will hear from uh, Anderson, JD, and Domi again after our first round. Uh, hey. uh, and here we go. It's Team Polygon. You know it. Hello, hey, everybody. Uh, I, I'm worried. Please don't let me down out there. Oh, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do great. We're gonna I'm do worried. Great. You're good. worried. I, I was expecting a little more faith. Yeah. Well, Wait. here's the thing. Uh, it's, I think it's smart to be. You know, it's what's the parable? Uh, prepare for the worst hope for the best i know that i put together the best team that i possibly could for this event uh we have austin news writer at polygon.com hello austin hey how's it going good uh austin is also our uh our anchor for this you are austin is the guy when we're looking at him in observer mode he'll be the one who's uh like flipping his uh his knife in and out because he actually knows that it makes you run faster when you have a knife in your hand despite what your parents always tell you uh and then uh, Clayton and uh, 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 Cass, what, what, what's your strategy going to be for uh, keeping up in this one? 
So what I'm planning is to play so badly, it wraps all the way down to being audacious. Like No one will expect these strategies because they're so inherently terrible. And I think the chaos is really going to uh, lead to some ex upsets there. I, I feel that. There's that thing they say, the, uh, the greatest swordsman in the world has nothing to fear from the second greatest swordsman, but everything to fear from the swordsman who has never held a sword. Uh, oh, absolutely. Clayton, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. We we have a plan. Awesome, Cass, you know. The, the plan. It's a good plan. we definitely plan. have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it, is it just going to be running forward in a delta formation? <laughs> You're, You're already supposed to be the whole us. plan. I right? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, we just, we'll delete that part from the VOD. Um, okay. Okay, cool. Well, I am going to... Uh, take us once again to that lovely stay tuned screen as I coordinate the things that I need to do to get us set up and running in this match. So stay tuned. We'll be back in like two minutes. Bye, everybody. We're back talking about video games on the internet. We have a very special guest to talk us through this match here. Um, <laughs> JD is spamming the script of the uh, Anderson Pack ad in the party <laughs> chat there. Love to see that. Uh, I'm going to wait just a minute before we, we throw, the, throw this first uh, 3v3 spike rush match to introduce our guest commentator, somebody who actually knows stuff about Valorant, is Jimmy Mondel. Hello, Jimmy. Hi, Patrick. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Uh, so, chat, if you don't know Jimmy, uh, Jimmy was the host of uh, Speedrun uh, and has been a collaborator with Polygon in the past, and he's got a golden voice and a lovely face and Thank you. Uh, a Thank deep you. knowledge of this game that we're about to play. You know what? I'm going to screen share with you because that was the thing that I'm forgetting to do. Here you go, baby. Yes. Uh, ah, beautiful. Go live. 
And then I'm going to fix that cropping that I messed up. Very nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, we found out a lot of um, secret information about our man JD Beck here and that he plays this game quite a bunch. Uh, yeah. He's pretty, he's pretty good. Yeah, uh, I am. I'm scared. Uh, I think it's gonna it's it's gonna be okay. But uh, I, I'm actually I'm mostly excited to see how quickly he's out there just popping them headshots. Okay, here we go. Oh, Spike yeah. rush on bind. Let's friggin' go. Who cares that the teams aren't full? <laughs> Not us. Who cares? <laughs> uh, so tell me a bit about bind, Jim. Jimmy. Bind. Okay, so the key features for Bind are that it has two teleporters, right? It's got a one on the far left side by B long is what we're going to call it that goes all the way around the all the way around the map. Um, so it takes you from B long all the way to A side by the showers, and it has another teleporter towards the middle somewhere, which takes you from A short. You see that little little TP, that little blue line in the middle there from A short into B mid. So that's the main part of bind. The defensive side doesn't have any quick way to go between these two sides. So I'm excited to see if they just like bull rush one side or if they take it kind of slow, what they're going to do, what, what the strategy for the attacking polygon side is here. All right. So let's, let's hop right in real quick to JD's perspective here. JD uh, asked shortly before the stream, to log in on his own account here uh, so that we can see these beautiful cosmetics. We got the jellyfish sawed off. <laughs> Looking yeah, that's classy. The, the, the good old Killjoy sawed off. Okay, so it looks like he's going to go play on B by himself. He's got the confidence, and we're seeing the attacking side come out. Through showers, they're just going to stack on up. JD doesn't even bother, and he's booking it back there. He's like, I'm coming! So... <laughs> Looks like the polygon side is trying to make their way through the showers now, and they're going to run into Jet. I'm not sure oh, who's no. on the Jet specifically. <laughs> they're clumped <laughs> up. <laughs> no! JD already gets a kill on to Cashly. Yeah, okay, they're trying. Try Dommy oh, scoring Domi. a kill. Holy shit. Let's go. Let's go. Double kill for Domi. Wow, that was right. nuts. Bad start for polygon.com. Rough. Good Rough. start for Team Pack. All right, next round we spawn in with the scout sniper or whatever it's called. Yeah, this this is the Marshall is the official name, but yeah, scout sniper. If you ever played any Counter Strike back in the day, that's what it was. Um, let's see if they're gonna do anything differently. I liked the attacking side; they used the blind. They they were trying, you know, using their abilities to get on the site, but JD with that nade was stopping them in their tracks. All right, sending out the dog. Sending out the heckin' puppo. All right, running the around with the knife, looking for a flanking position here. Coming up on A. All right, they're trying to push through short. They did a bit of a fake there. You saw that? They, like, teased them a little bit at B and now coming out full force onto A. Looks like there's one still in U-Haul. That's Domi on the jet. Um, hanging out inside of the U-Haul. Oh, just around the corner. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, Domi with the first one. First kill just... onto the enemies. The point blank sniper battle. Yeah, I, I doubt they're even using the scope at this point. It's 2v2. It is close. Oh, the Polygon team down to one hit each. One additional bit of damage is going to be all it takes to take them out. Um, JD oh, and God. Domi, no. Too good. Too good. That duo chemistry and music just apparently translates 100% over. I don't know. That's how that worked, but apparently it does. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like they gotta have really high APM. Domi's a very skilled keyboard player. They got limb independence. They got high APM. They know how to collaborate and communicate with each other. All right, yeah. So, so a lot of things are wrong on this screen because it says guardian, but it's showing us a judge and they have a phantom. So I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> but uh, you know, we're we're into this into this third round now. They all got assault rifles here. It looks like. Let's uh, pop on over and check how Cass is doing here. Cass just ate a cluster bomb. Oh, can't heal yourself, Cass. That's awkward. She's figuring that out as we speak. Over here, checking out things. Yeah, blinding through. Oh my god, JD's on the flank with Domi. Look at them both coming around the back. Oh, the Polygon guys have no idea. Oh, they're pushing out to sight. Oh, they're going to get wrecked from the behind. JD throws out the drone. Throws at the little boom bot, rather. Okay, Cass, nice flash. JD. Oh, Holy nice. Shit. Those reactions. Good lord. <laughs> Let's go. He's Point and click. It's a brutalizing. Damn machine from the future. Oh my oh. god. 
<laughs> and to pop off with the jumping. <laughs> We're in so much fucking trouble. <laughs> oh my god. I love that. I love that. Everything from the flank to just pop, pop, pop three in a row. Oh, you can see it in the way he aims, too. He's so, so, like, he's clearing every angle, lining up his headshots. So good. So good. Just examining the blade. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Pac Man taking up the rear here. Let's go. Let's see how they do on attack. Squatting up with the team. Coordinating, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Laying their devious plans. There they go. And, uh, what I'd watch out for here is for JD to double satchel in. So he's just going to bop in is what I'm assuming. Instead, he just walks onto site because he has no fears whatsoever, this man. And into their spawn. He's deep. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. big loss for Team Pack there. <laughs> and then in the chat yeah. saying, oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> new sense, new mouse. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yes, Cass. Well done. That was a good flash. And they get the third kill. They get their first round here on the board on the defensive side. Polygon team putting up points, man. Now, if JD tries to say that was deliberate sabotage, that we sent him a faulty mouse, <laughs> that I, I, I sent him a keyboard, he, he's it's absolutely not true. It is all extremely nice alien wear gear yes just like the headsets we're wearing mm -hmm. okay okay i like it they're like reading each other's minds both teams are gravitating gravitating towards a heavier presence on b i like it Cass with the dog with the puppy Cut woof woof what do you see dog vision here we go Ooh, leaping forward <laughs> dog vision <laughs> Okay, she's, she, oh! Yeah, uh, they're just unloading into the sky there for a second. Unfortunate to see, now flipping back to Austin's perspective, Muffly is Austin, our uh, resident god gamer, just peeking, peeking, keeping that right at head height, hoping to catch something. He's like, yeah, I dare you, peek me! And, but there they are, running away towards the A site. He reads that rotate, too, and is gonna run back on over through CT into a site here and tr oh but they double back and try and go back towards b hookah that's bind for you oh, jd picks up the golden eye weapon he's got the gun let's flip over let, let, let's see if we can see jd's perspective here uh oh <laughs> oh, God. oh no oh no what is this don't do this that's not allowed Aust austin's waiting it out that's smart very smart very smart i like it now trying to push through ct Putting some damage down onto Domi, but JD waiting. One shot from this pistol will kill you no matter where you are, and it's 100% oh, accurate. There it is. <laughs> JD sealing out the first game, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. Hey, but they got a round, and um, I was impressed by that round. That was good, right? Yeah. We, we, got, we got on the board, right? We're on the board. That's all we asked for. That's all the... I mean, I would have liked a little bit better from, from Team Polygon, but uh, they are in there with an absolute monster. Uh, That's true. Well, that was our first match. Uh, so this is going to be a first to three. I completely failed to mention that at the top of the stream. Uh, we're playing it pretty fast and loose here because playing video games is about having fun. Um, right. So here's what we're going to do now is we're going to do one more scene transition, and then we're going to chill for a while with uh, Jimmy, myself, and Anderson uh, while the gameplay continues. And we continue chatting about it so stay Let's tuned go. folks we will be right back
we're streaming. How do you feel? How do you feel about your team's performance there, Anderson? I feel great, man. I feel like that's money well spent. You know, I, I put together the best team I could, and um, I was the best coach that I can be, and I, I depended on them to execute, and that's what they did. And uh, I might have to reward them later, you know, Go to McDonald's or something. Yeah, yeah. So I feel good. They, they're going to get the – you're going to give them the medium fries instead of the small Little time. McFlurries. A couple yeah. McFlurries. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If the machine's broken, you're going to tell them to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Wendy's, get a little frosty. Oh, yeah. This ain't going to Dairy Queen. Well, you have earned the right to relax, so we're kicking you out of the game. Uh, Thanks, man. And here's what I think we're going to try. If, you know what, I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to do it and see see if, if it works. I'm going to see if three of members of Team Polygon can take on JD and Domi. We're doing a 3v2 thing. I'm not even going to hey, tell oh, them before oh, I do this, too. Oh. JD, can you hear us? Oh, they can't hear us, huh? They can't hear us now. They can't. Well, I mean, oh, this is going to be good. Yeah. Uh, let me, uh, Austin, if you can hear us, uh, can you ping Austin and tell him that he is in game currently? Cool. Um, oh, that was fun. God. I uh, so I did, when you, when you uh, chose to start collaborating with JD Beck, you can be honest with us. Was it because you knew he was extremely good at Valorant? <laughs> um, <laughs> That was the only reason. And uh, <laughs> he does a lot of things that I can't do on the drums. And, and he's like a 60-year-old man inside of a 12-year-old body. So um, <laughs> I just find that really amusing. And he has a great set of hair. And you do. it's just, you know, when you're that young, and it just it really inspires, you know, me and, and um, uh, you know, my artistry and what I want to do for the future because I feel like they are the future. And, like, mm -hmm. I can just kind of – Sometimes I feel like I'm just, you know, learning a lot from them and tagging along and, uh, and you know, they listen and have a lot of respect for me too. So we have a lot of fun and I'm really immature and <clears throat> at heart. So, yeah. um, it's cool to link up with people, you know, 10, 12 years younger than me. Uh, right. So normal. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really cool. Like the, I guess the mentorship aspect of it, right? Like is yeah. like you've probably, you've had mentors in your life, I'm sure. And now you've yeah. got the opportunity to like work with new people and help bring them up. Like, what's that like? And then like, what what drives you to want to do that? Yeah, that's that's part of like my whole my whole come up was people um, providing a lot of help for me, co-signing and um, you know offering up studios and just offering up some wisdom, you know, uh, advice for things that they went through, and so I didn't have to go through it. And so when you meet you know, two kids like JD and Domi who are just at the very uh, start of, you know, their whole careers and their whole artistry. It's really exciting and it's, it's, it's super dope that they're willing to just listen and, you know, take whatever they want to take from me and, and learn and, um, you know, use it for their own good. And it's, um, you know, it just brings me back to when I was, you know, chilling on the couch and, and working with people like, you know, Shafiq and having to you know, be their driver and their weed roller and their chef and their <laughs> their <clears throat> videographer and everything, you know. And now I get to, um, you know, provide the same uh, stuff for these kids and, and hopefully they don't get distracted. You know, they're they're both from right. different places in the world and LA can be like, a lot of distractions. Let's go! Oh, God! And they can do what's important, like sweeping people off their feet! What? With a frenzy at that Head range? Not. Headshot from a mile away. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Domi. One v one. Clayton's in there alone Talk with Domi right now. Uh, Domi fucking clutching it out. Holy cow. Yeah. That was nasty. Yeah, watch JD's. Out. And the dance, the little victory dance on the spike. Right. Oh my god. Domi keys on IGs in the chat. <laughs> 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 oh god, this rules. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you mentioned earlier. You said the uh, uh, JD. They just been training for this. You said they haven't JD... showered or eaten. <laughs> well, I mean that's the gamers' code. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You, you said JD can do some stuff on the drums that you can't do. Uh, I'm not going to ask you specifically what, but like when I was like Tuning. listening to your stuff and reading up on you. Uh, I, <laughs> The thing that it made me wonder is like everything you do takes a ton of practice, right? Each instrument you play, production, all that stuff. Like, right. do you 
still make time to just sit down and just practice stuff that you want to get better at, or are you too busy just practice doing this stuff? Man, it's crazy because when I practice, it's pretty much when we're jamming. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll just jam and, you know, they've been over here. They got a crazy room where they got, uh, we, we built this crazy room for them where they got um, all these keyboards and we got this sick kit. But a lot of times when we're writing music and jamming, that's pretty much when we're getting to practice in or when we're rehearsing for tours. But, man, all, the time when we really had to practice, that was like, you know, when I was in my 20s coming up and just like playing in church and, you know, that was like, my time and I'm 35 now and when I watch JD I'm just like here you just take the sticks I don't feel like doing this shit anymore and it's just like because you know it's just watching them is so much funner and, and learning stuff from them but uh you know I've been low-key taking lessons from JD for a little bit and then figuring out some stuff but my wrists are just too slow yeah it's oh, uh oh as you can see Jesus Christ. yeah just... speaking of quick wrist man yeah he takes he the just... defuse like, off with his head man all right. Super uh, close. Is there anything, Team Paul? Man, Jimmy, I think I I'm, I'm going to have to put you in there too. We're going to have to make this. <laughs> Yo, I will hop <laughs> in. Right I'm, in. I'm down to play against JD. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I will go in there. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> Bring uh, somebody at this. <laughs> hey, man, Polygon got a round, right? They're doing last game. It took to make three it rounds. Look bad. We're doing okay now. It's tied up 1 yeah. 1 oh, right tied? now. Right it's now, ties. I mean, on, it's, JD, don't slack. Don't me. It's not an honest tie. There, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. There right, let's is. check in here with Austin. Austin was our greatest hope here. Oh. oh boy, takes JD out of the competition there with a flurry to the chest and head. That was nice. <laughs> oh, I mean, the now, excuses are coming out in the chat. <laughs> yeah, don't me now. Running backwards off. Running away from come that on, style. Come on man. now. Catches the Rally. flash. Ooh. Oh. All right. All right. Well, I got to go up for the Polygon. first time. For Coach, first Coach time Pac, tonight. do you have okay. any advice for your team? I just need them to stay focused and understand that if they don't win, they're, they're never getting another meal. They're never getting another <laughs> call back. I'm disowning them. So they really need to focus right now. Um, you mentioned uh, touring earlier. Uh, when was the last time you got to go on tour? And are you looking at getting started again? It feels like ages, bro. What was the last two, two years? 2019, we did yeah. um, big, uh, biggest teeth in the game tour. Uh, uh, <laughs> best teeth in the game tour. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, yeah, we did uh, uh, Madison Square and the Forum, and, uh, Red Rocks, and man, I miss I miss touring, and that was so so much fun, and I can't wait to get back in front of the people, and um, yeah, there's there's plans. Hopefully, things open back up. Everybody's safe. If we can get back on the road, but yeah, man, it's been over almost two years since our last tour. Crazy. Is there anything that like you're excited to like try that's new or different? Like when you get back out there? Crowd surfing. Okay. With yeah. Matt. Let's go. And, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't JD. even know. Can you crowd surf? Maybe for vaccinated. I think it probably de yeah. depends on the venue. Uh, um, and, and the waivers that you sign. Holy crap. Right. J awesome. JD back to back headshots. Let's go. He's gonna make it two two, man. He's about to tie it up. Oh, oh no, Domi! Domi with the flanking maneuver. It's like Velociraptors. You look him straight ahead. It comes from the side. <laughs> Pack hunting two two now. Tied up. Hey, they don't up. even need the third person. <clears throat> Come on um, now. Uh, yeah. Speaking of collaborations and stuff, uh, I was listening to a bunch of your stuff this week, and to briefly gush at you. Um, the vocal performance on Make It Better is one of my favorite vocal performances I've heard in a song. I, I don't you, know. Man. Top, top, so, yeah. top it's 10. It's because of smoke. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. Like, how, how did uh, you get, like, first of all, how did you get to work with Smokey? And then, like, what was it like to work with a legend like Smokey Robinson? Um, yeah, my boy Adrian, he, uh, he, like, pretty much grew up with him. And I, I called his bluff one time and I was like, Yo, man, you don't know Smokey. Like, if you know Smokey, get him here right now. And then the next day, he was at the studio, and I was like, oh, shoot, okay, um, look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Smoke Dog, I have a song for you. Um, and we worked on the song, and the song was, like, one way, and it had all these curse words and everything. And, and then he took the song, and he said, listen, baby, you got to make love to her with your words. Um, give me one CD with the instrumental and one CD 
uh, with the lyrics and I'll come back and I'll make it right. And he really did make it better. And the next day he had the lyrics, you know, rewritten in all the places that there were curse words. He had sweet words and he, mm. he really made love with the words. And then um, I got to record it with him and he was like, nah, do it again, do it again. And that's why it sounds good because he was really training me and he was on my ass. And um, anytime I, I work with a you know, good producer, that's what they do. They really fight for getting the best vocal take and um, they're not lazy. And, and that's, um, you know, a legend. He's made so many songs and to be able to get, you know, produced by him in the studio and vocal produce, it was a dream. So, you know, I owe that to him for sure. Yeah. Good thing it, you call I that mean, bluff, man. Bruno's not a bad vocal producer too, you know? <laughs> He gets the good stuff out of me too. Pause. Nice. All right. All right. <laughs> Jay, he's feeling the pressure though in this corner. He's stuck, but the time's running down. Domi's gonna come up to his to his help right here, and JD and Domi look like they're fending him off. Oh, wait. Damn, oh. Cass with the kill on JD. Not oh, enough time to There it is. Still Domi closing up. it out. Three tied three up down. through three. Yes. Boy, getting tense in there. Um, much, much closer this time. How many rounds they got to play? Uh, this they should be it. the last one here. Yeah, this is going to be the really? last one. Really? So this is it? Yeah, first to four wins. Yeah, on, and then, then uh, after this, if we're doing a first to three, if, if, if Team Pack takes this, they just need to get one more to take the series. Okay. And uh, I'll have to, like, spray paint something gold and mail it to you. <laughs> <laughs> a little trophy. <laughs> This okay. is sick, man. This is good. JD and Domi, man, they're playing back to back. I like this. They got the yeah. numbers disadvantage, but they got the chemistry going. You see this? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and it looks like the Polygon team is going out onto B site. JD's just posted up here. He's doing his best to keep an eye out, but he doesn't see them pushing out on the site. Cass is about to make first contact, and JD oh, takes him out. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> JD oh, goes crazy God. though, pushes up into the tunnel and gets taken out. Now it's all up to Domi in a 2v1. No, Through the God. tunnel. This is to take the entire game. Domi. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, it looks like they have to win by two when it's tied up oh, here. So they might right. have to win one more round. All right, we're still in it, folks. Uh, okay. if, if Team Polygon takes this, we will be honest and adjust our numbers. We'll make this a 2v2 affair uh, for the rest of the series here. Um, I, have you been doing some work with directing too, Anderson? Yeah, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with directing. I just did something for Leon Bridges, mm -hmm. um, and um, you know, we did. I started um, uh, working on directing. You know, I did one with, with uh, Rick Ross and <clears throat> working on some movie things. Um, yeah, but nice. yeah, I have a lot of fun directing, and I wanted to really practice and um, learn, you know, a lot from the game and, you know, start with music videos. And I'm learning a lot with that. Oh, my God. Oh, was that JD? <laughs> Clean with it. Yeah, Clap. he was just tapping. Tap, tap, tap. JD, one headshot. He's looking for the second. Oh, finds a second kill. 2v1 now already. Knives Much are out. different than last round. Ryan Johnson. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you see that? He took his time with it. He's like, tap, tap, headshot. <laughs> Boom. Done. Done. It's the finesse for me. It is. It really is. That precision, that care. Okay, 4-4 four, four now. They need to win by two. So first team to six rounds here is going to be taking this. JD feeling it. He's looking charged, leading it over to B-side. Round's not started JD. yet, but uh, yeah, man, I think he's feeling it finally. All uh, right. So, you, like, eventually you'd like to do film stuff? Yeah. Yeah, man. Nice. I would love to do more movies, produce more movies, do some acting. Yeah, got some well, stuff coming out. Also, yeah, the uh, the likewise the video for make it better. You're in there doing <gasps> some some actual acting, and it's it's pretty good. Like, uh, what kind of what kind of movies do you want to do? Like, do you want to do like action movies? You want to do like comedy okay. stuff? Yeah, like cringy romantic rom coms, um, superhero, uh, <laughs> musician biopics. Uh, um, what's it called? Um, um coming of age um you know foreign i want to love to do some korean stuff that'd be um, awesome <laughs> and uh, what else you get the the bong yeah. joon ho collab coming up yeah 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 man nice. i mean i'm open man I just want to learn and you know cool. keep getting into it all we do is just watch movies and docs and stuff and yeah try to figure oh. it out
No Come bullets on. in the gun. Oh, nice job. You don't Dummy need bullets when you got there. knives that shoot out of your hands. That is also true. It's her ninja way. There um. we go. Five rounds to four now. Just need one more for backside. Team back, let's go. I mean, team polygon, let's go. Come on, team polygon. <laughs> Uh, Traitor. <laughs> wait, what, what are some of the movies you've seen? Favorite movies you've seen, like, recently, this year? Recommendations. Recently, um, I love Knives Out. Yeah. Um, I love, what else did we like? Summer of Soul was sick. Um, uh, Queen's Gambit. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Oh, yeah, we've been getting into the new season of Dave. Um, mm -hmm. We watch a lot of docs. We love mm -hmm. the Bee Gees doc. Mm -hmm. Um all those Tupac and Biggie Small documentaries. Um, all the, like, yeah, the gangster rap documentaries are, um, what else? Um, what was we just watch that we like? Oh, even the Billy Eilish doc. I mean, any doc. I could watch a doc on rice and I would love it. Like, I don't care. Just, yeah, right. <laughs> just show me the process. I'm obsessed. But yeah, yeah um, you know, I love, you know, Scorsese Casino is one of my favorite. I love F. Gary Gray Friday. Um, we love, uh, you know, mm -hmm. so much, man. Nice. Uh, things, are getting, heartbeat. <laughs> things are getting tight for Domi here. She's stuck in a 1v3. If she wins this round, she wins the entire thing for the team. If they lose this round, it's uh -oh. back to a draw. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Domi. Domi down. Domi down. Yeah, they got a lot going there. They had the ult down, too. It was looking rough. You hate to back see Back tied it. up again. <sighs> Boy. We we are stuck in a uh, hey, yeah. deadlock here. Uh, well, we got we got 15 minutes for them to wrap this up, and then I'm gonna come in there and pull the plug. <laughs> looks like they got the vandals this time too. It's just the assault rifle, and it looks like JD and Domi are again gonna head towards B. It yeah. looks like that works out best for them. You know, if they could clear out one site and then just head to the others, that's usually the easiest way to do it. So it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Um, see if they hear anything crazy, see if they see anything wild. They don't see or hear anything, so they're going back towards A now. <clears throat> I like it. I like that they're so methodical, though. That's my favorite thing. They're really taking yeah. their time to clear things yeah. out. They're like, okay, let's This is how they make music, other. too. Yeah. This is how they make music. It's the process, man. Yeah. I mean, that is a question that I wanted to ask is, like, what is the thing that like makes two people or a couple of people make music well together? Like, what are what are the ingredients that make that collaboration work? I mean, I think you know just raw chemistry helps. Um, but you know, people being team players, you know, knowing what role they play in the whole thing, and uh, you know what they bring to the table, being confident what they bring to the table, the other person is being confident, and that that's how magic is made. And I think it's being you know, there's a sense of both people being open to um the unknown that's that's mm -hmm. great too and so when you can lock in and you guys have all those ingredients man it's guys the limit yeah it's it's one of the things in general like i think in all creative work good lord <laughs> oh my god let's go jd jd just again popping off with the knives <laughs> tea bagging oh okay no oh, yeah. I, that's a yellow card that's a yellow card on the, <laughs> on the field no no uh, <laughs> in, in, in like all the creative work like even like when we are writing and making videos and stuff like that one of the things that's like hardest is like to push back on stuff and to stand up for yourself but also to like take feedback from people without like getting hurt by it yeah no ego you know know that it's all love and like everybody's like pushing for what they want and showing yeah. like why they believe in it because at the end of the day it's like you know i tell them like you got for this music stuff, man, you gotta be willing to die for it sometimes, man. And everybody's gonna be trying to push their ideas on you and what, how they think you should do your art and all this stuff. And sometimes you gotta be really firm to see your vision through and you can't let anybody, you know, stand in the way of that. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're able to trust somebody, a partner, and you have a duo or, or four people or five, however many people in the band, you guys all trust it, each other, um, you can make some really, really amazing stuff. You know, that's how a lot of the, the music that I love, you know, is, was made by bands like Earth, Wind and & Fire and the Beatles mm -hmm. and um, even N.W.A. And, um, you know, there's just like a bond and a, a trust that they have for that period of time they're together. You know, bands like Queen, and, um, the Isley Brothers, um, even Jimi Hendrix and his band, you know, it just everybody had their role and they <laughs> killed it. 
<laughs> Speaking of everyone having their role, they make it work. Domi and JD pull it out, take all three down, and take the second game Excellent. in a row, dude. Those Series are my babies! Polite GGs in the chat. So that is, uh, let's see, it's 350 right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the executive decision to make this a, a two out of three and say that Team Pack, victorious. Team Polygon, goes home, hang your head in shame. Let's Just kidding. You, you, you did well. You did well considering you were in there with, with a monster, uh, JD Beck you guys and Domi. Wrong. That What's is that? true. Yeah, you, you can see the scoreboard itself reflects the storyline for it. 21 kills for JD, man. This guy is ridiculous. Ridiculous. On, All too powerful. Pops uh, off, uh, mate. Proper killing spree, mate. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, <laughs> was that? That's that's a pretty good unreal, dizzy rascal. Mate. That's uh, unreal. Uh, <laughs> playing FIFA, in it. Uh, let's yeah, in it. <laughs> let, let's do this again uh, sometime. But first. Uh, I'm going to take us over to that waiting screen one last time. I'm going to bring back Domi and JD so they can talk about everything that went down there with Anderson and wrap up. Uh, before we say goodbye to you, Jimmy, uh, what, what do you got going on these days, Jimmy? Oh, so yeah, I'm an executive producer now, if you guys didn't know, which is kind of crazy. I used to do this commentating thing a lot. Now I executive produce. And the show I'm working on is really exciting. I'm super excited about it. It's basically Cribs but for gamers if you know Whoa. any gamers they got some sick setups yeah it's called rigs and it'll be coming to a snapchat screen close to you by the end of july early august so i'd stay tuned for that and if you want to be featured reach out to me hit me up on twitter we can get something set up sick thank you so much jimmy it's good to see you again thank you guys all right cool i'll be back with anderson and jd and domi in just a minute stay tuned folks Yo. Gamers. Yo. Gamers. Yo. Gamers. Proper killing spree, mate. Let's go. <laughs> Precision, oh, mate. Precision. Headshots. Let's go. Stick talk. Stick talk. Let's that was, go. That, that, was, that was scary. Uh, good work <laughs> to everybody out there. Uh, Domi, yeah. we saw you pick up some clutch ones. Uh, Great teamwork. Yeah. Uh, and JD, what the hell? Yo. Come on. How many kills? I don't know. Wait. 22. 21, 22. Ooh. 25. Yeah. How's, it, how's that stack up for you? I should have got 40. Yeah. He came with the knives out, too. Tossing knives left and right. A little slinger link kid. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, yeah you know? Was that was great. That was He's sick. a real modest king. <laughs> <laughs> we stand. Come on. <laughs> can we can we get a We Stand JD going in the chat, please? We Stand a Modest King. We... <laughs> so... And Queen. You killed it. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. So. Uh, that, that was super cool. Um, so what do you guys have going on coming up in the near future here? A lot. Shoot. Yeah, Can't say any of it yet. It's all secret. Oh, yeah. We play Hollywood Bowl. 
Sunday yeah. uh, with Earl Sweatshirt. Hmm. Yeah, Kamasi Washington. Finally, yep. They'll be back in Earl. That's yeah. the vibes right now. Then I'll our album. Back. Yeah. But you'll, you'll find out about that later. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, like, where should people, like, if, if this is your first time tuning into uh, Domi and JD stuff, where should people look you up to see more of your music or your presences YouTube. on the internet? YouTube? YouTube and Instagram, yeah. Okay, cool. Not really on Twitter much? Nah. Yeah. It's mostly just memes, but yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, there is a little uh, social ticker running in the uh, chat on Twitch. You've probably seen it a few times. Go ahead and click those links if you'd like to follow JD and Domi where they are. Um, this was super cool. Thank you all for coming on and playing man. video games with us. Um, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah thanks for having us, man. Thoroughly impressed. Is that Naruto behind you? Was that a TV screen? Okay, and it's a security camera. Yeah, Sorry. there's yeah. people... People coming in and out. Wait, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Watch out, JD. <laughs> now, JD's got it. JD's a oh, fucking... Yeah, yeah. Just pick up a pen off the desk and just throw it across the room like John yeah, Wick. Not, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's, what's that behind you, Domi? That looks super sick. <laughs> amazing outfit. Is that your outfit? That is a yeah, really... Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa. Uh... Who's that guy? Actually, it's no. Like, I just... Uh, Louis XIV from, uh, you know, the Surrender Country. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. The Looks cell a lot phone. like my Met Gala. That's amazing. <laughs> I did yeah, want to ask you, Anderson, if, yes. for the gamers out there, uh, uh, gamers are not known to dress. Uh, you have been known to dress. What is your fashion advice? Uh, you know, everybody here, fashion advice for gamers. Let's go. Just be, just be yourself. It's yeah. not about the clothes. It's about the contents within. As mm -hmm. long as you got confidence, you know. I, you know, look at these kids. You know, I love how they dress, and they raid my closet all the time. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's just an expression of, of who you are, and uh, it's good. Who's to say that you know, Gucci glasses can't be mixed with Chanel bucket? Can't be mixed with a little. <laughs> Vanderson can't be mixed. I'm just wearing underwear down here. I didn't wear any pants because I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> any, so, you know, you just gotta mix it up and uh, be yourself and and be confident and have fun. Sick. Nice. <laughs> Sick fit. Sick it's fit. Like, it's like getting a fit off. You know, like I wanted, change, I wanted to change the whole concept of gamers can't dress. Like, I was sick of that. You know, I wanted to flip that on its head. So. We're trying to change that whole like scene. Look at these kids; they're swagged yeah. out. I feel like we did it today. Oh. We, we we did it God. together. Hey, let's see the fit. Oh, Gamers. my God! Wow, I got the really... feet, bro. <laughs> no, no, you can't do that on Twitch. You can't do that on Twitch. Oh, okay, no. the shoes. Yeah, you can do the shoes, yeah. but not the feet. <laughs> oh, he got no Tarantino <laughs> feet. <laughs> really? What about my micro penis? No, no, no come you're on. not allowed to do that either. That'll that'll get you kicked <laughs> no. right off. Um, wow. Yeah. Where the fans at? All right. There they come are. On. Well, this has been Polygon. <laughs> yeah, let's let's uh, and Anderson let's Pack. See. On that note, <laughs> uh, any final plugs? Uh, like last stuff that you want to plug that you want to get people excited for, uh, coming up. Yes. Uh, everybody should be very excited for JD and Domi's album. Everybody should be very excited for Silk Sonic album. I got another Vans collab gonna drop. Um, be very excited about uh, um, J Pound's birthday and Matt's birthday. Let's and, go. Uh, not Berry Farm, Magic Mountain. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited about how many kills did he have? 40 kills, 100 <laughs> kills for Domi. And the sky's hey. the limit. You know, we're excited about the future of gaming and where it's gonna take us. Yep. Oh. And they're excited about <laughs> Alienware and this sick freaking computers and all this. Like, come on. Yeah, thanks for, the, uh, you, thanks for the thanks for the inbox. Really appreciate it. Sweet. Well, thank you. I yeah, can't say thanks, anything. Better than that. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh thank you. Everybody yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, everybody on the call, enjoy your day. Everybody at home. Uh, we'll be back next Friday. Uh, we're, we're taking tomorrow off. No stream tomorrow. Uh, we're, we're too sleepy. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll see you next week. And bye, everybody.